Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, chemicals collide. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Hey YouTube, it's Jay, and today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this really simple future look that's good for any day. So first I'm going in with Nivea Aftershave Balm. Is that what it is? I don't know, but that's what I'm using for my primer. I use it whenever I run out. And then I'm going to go in with Anastasia's Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony and start doing my eyebrows as usual. It, my routine is always changing, so don't even ask me how I do my eyebrows. Now I'm using LA Girl Pro Conceal and Fawn and I'm just carving out and cleaning the brow, the top and the bottom. This step is completely optional. I tend to fill in the sparse areas with black eyeshadow just because to me it looks cleaner and more full. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. This is another optional step. What I like to do is I take waterproof black mascara and I just brush it through my brows and that is what I use as a brow gel. So because I'm extra, I'm using red lipstick to just conceal my dark spots. And after I use the red lipstick, I'm gonna go in with another color corrector from LA Girl Pro Conceal. It's the orange color corrector and I'm just gonna apply that over the red lipstick that I applied and just blend out. Now you're going to see me do this a couple times. What I'm doing is I'm just setting my concealer with translucent powder. It's the Cody Airspun. And I don't bake it. I just apply it on my face, get it in there, and I brush it off immediately after. For foundation, my drugstore go-to is Revlon Colorstay in Cappuccino. And I just apply it all over my face just like you should. And I'm going to just blend it out. Both with a brush and a beauty blender. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm tipping. I feel like I'm the man, shawty. Twist it. I feel it. Just keep doing your dance, shawty. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I'm going in with Anastasia's Cream Contour Kit in medium, and I'm using that first color as my concealer. And I'm gonna go in with concealer again, but I just use this for extra coverage. And I'm just blending it out with my finger, and that's how easy it blends out, just with the finger. And then I'm going in with LA Girl in Fawn, and I'm just going right over where I put the Anastasia.
I used the darkest shade in that same Anastasia contour kit and I'm just using the bottom of my beauty blender and dip it in, in there and I'm applying it to my cheeks. Now what I like to do for a more sharp and precise contour, I like to take the concealer and just run it down the cheek where I applied my cream contour and just kind of outline it and then blend it out and then I'm baking. Now I'm baking my face everywhere that I applied any type of cream concealer, I'm just baking. I'm now using the darkest shade in the NYX Highlighting Contour Powder Kit and all the items that I use will be in the description box below. For blush I'm using this really rosy blush from Jordana and then I'm going in with my favorite part, the highlight. And I'm using this drugstore blush from, um, 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 where is this blush, where is this highlight from? Oh dear, oh my, I'll put it in the description box below, but it's a drugstore and it's really impressive. For eyes, I'm going in with the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going in with Cypress Umber in the outer corner of my eyes to cre create that depth. And then I'm going to take Real Girl, which is an orange tone. I'm just going to use that as my transition color. I'm using concealer just to um, carve out the inner corner of my eyes and the middle of my eye just to know where I want to put my next color. And for my next color, I now switch palettes. I use the Full Spectrum palette by Urban Decay, which is my all-time favorite. And I'm going in with Gossip. After, I'm going to go in with the same brown color to just darken up the outer corner. For my inner corner highlight, I'm using Vermeer from the Modern Renaissance palette. And then I'm going to do my waterline with just a drugstore eyeliner pencil. Going in with the same brown Cypress Umber for my bottom lashes. Your girl did her lashes off camera because everyone knows that's a struggle. And for lips, I'm going with Tarte in Love Spell and it just threw off the look so well. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at underscore jjuicy. And follow me on Snapchat at lovejuicyovo.